Just a few short years ago, he was broke. He didn't know how he was going to feed his family. He's trying to do the best for his wife, and he had nothing. But like I said earlier, this man understood that it's about resourcefulness and not resources. And he started using that resourcefulness. And he resourcefulnessed his way to Funnel Hacking Live, trading funnels for tickets, for hotel rooms, for plane flights. And that resourcefulness got him a job at ClickFunnels, sitting right next to Russell Brunson. And that resourcefulness made him the chief funnel building officer at ClickFunnels, where he built over 500 funnels and coached for over 1,000 hours. In January 1st of 2018, that resourcefulness told him that it was time to break out and do his own thing. Within five days of leaving ClickFunnels, because of what he is about to teach you this weekend, he had $20,000 in his pocket within five days of leaving. Within just a year and a half, he had crossed the $2 million mark. So I ask you again, offer mind, are you ready for me to bring the man of the hour back on stage. Well, if you are, get on your feet and welcome to the stage, Steve Larson. Um, I, I want you to know why, why this all matters so much, right? And, and Devon talked about it a little bit for me. And um, I, you know, I, when I left ClickFunnels, I was like, I'm going to keep documenting the journey. Like, how cool would that be? Like, to actually show, you know what, I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm doing well and what I'm sucking at at the same time, right? Which was really hard to do. But it, it's really easy when you start remembering the why. And I always hate it when people are like, you're not gonna make it unless you have a strong why. Rah, rah, rah. Like, I, I hate that. But, um, but it's true, right? When you sit back and you're like, why am I really doing this? For me, um, I went back and I actually started counting and I took a little notepad and started writing down and I'm actually not sure if I, oh yeah, <laughs> it's open to the right page. I wrote down, all the attempts it took me to get this game to work before one of them blew up. It wasn't 17 like I thought. It was 17 once I found out what ClickFunnels was. Okay, it's 34. And I wrote them all down. There's an episode coming out, two episodes on Sales Funnel Radio about that soon. How many guys are listeners of Sales Funnel Radio? Yeah, yeah. sweet. Oh, that's super cool. Uh, I was just stoked out of my mind when we launched the show. When I launched the show, it was just me, one man show, right? And I uh, went through and I launched the show and put it out and I was like, 40 downloads. <laughs> and I promoted and I did everything I could after a full day and 40 people had listened or at least downloaded it. And I was like, yeah, super cool to see where that's come from as well. Okay, but um, OfferMind though uh, uh, is the result of all the crap that I went through and the things that I learned, the things that I thought caused the money and the things that I thought caused the following and the things that I, that I thought. And I, I, <laughs> people are like, how do you have so much to say? Uh, <laughs> I spend more time figuring out what I'm not going to say. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. I've spent probably 15 to 20 hours cutting stuff in the last three days. And what we've whittled it down to is the three things that really cause the cash. And that's what we're going to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> Money isn't bad or neutral. It's good, right? You know how greedy you get when you're broke? Way more greedy than when I've made a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna break a lot of beliefs around cash with this because that was the biggest thing, one of the largest things I had to re-break and reframe and rebuild a belief for me around was money itself. It's why I do the capitalist pig thing. It's like Batman, right? He's afraid of bats, became Batman. I was like, I'll become the capitalist pig, right? <laughs> Which has gotten a lot of negative flack, <laughs> but uh, kind of like brings me pleasure. So, <laughs> but it started way back in the day when I like, I was nervous to charge even 50 bucks for an hour of consulting. I've only, I haven't even graduated from college for four years yet. Okay. And, and it's not, I, I don't want anyone to think like, whoa, he's talking about himself again. Like, that's not what I'm saying at all, but understand that the 
pattern I'm going to share with you comes from hundreds of funnels at ClickFunnels, hundreds of funnels of my personal students, and is the culmination of ridiculous levels of stress and anxiety. Okay, and I'm I'm excited because you don't have to go through that. Okay, we got it really, 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 really simple, really simple, and um, which I'm, I'm I'm stoked about. Started trying to figure out ways to make money. And it was like, try, fail, <laughs> right? Try, yeah, this is gonna be the one, nothing. You know, oh, here we go. And you know, and, and understandably loved ones ask after a while, which I'm sure you've all had the question, right? Is this the one that's gonna work? And you're like, yeah, and nothing but a thing, right? I got this when I did not have it, <laughs> right? And I had no idea if it was gonna work. And you're, you're, you're on a you know, prayer and, and hope, just like, oh my gosh, please make this be the one. I remember, I was um, probably two years in, still. It was my obsessive focus to try to figure this out. And I remember sitting in a, I went to a place called uh, BYU-Idaho. That's where I went to college. And uh, it's this frozen, barren wasteland of a place where it's negative 40 degrees in the winter. <laughs> Great place for an education. Really weird location. And, um, and I, was sitting on, uh, this, I was sitting on a couch in a freezing apartment. And it was like 2 a.m. And I remember just like kneeling down and just like, just begging God to help. And um, that was really hard. And I know some of you guys have been in that place. It's not planning on not talking about that. <laughs> but it was rough. How many have been there? And you're like, it's not that I won't do it, but what is it? Right? What is it? And I remember, it was, I mean, I was trying like crazy. And we were spending money, frankly, we probably didn't have. And I thought it was about that. And there's the greater the risk, the greater reward, which is garbage, by the way. Okay? And all the stuff that I was trying, it was like nothing was working. And then I, I always wanted to be in the military, but I went and I joined the army and I was, was sitting in this, <laughs> sitting in this. You guys want to know the real story here? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Anyways, it was when I was saying that prayer, please help. I believe, and I don't know what you believe and I'm okay with that, but what I believe is that God cares and that he is willing to help. But the answer isn't always, here it is on try one. You're going to go through 34, son. <laughs> right? And I'm going to mold you into something that you would not become on your own willingly. And uh, there's no way I'd be doing this right now. Okay, even three years ago, I had huge levels of anxiety speaking with people. Huge levels. It was a real thing. And when uh, uh, those first few episodes of Sales Fun Radio, who's actually listened to them? <laughs> right? They're kind of crappy, right? <laughs> and that's okay. After a while, I was like, I surrender, just tell me what to do. And Russell's like, publish. And I was like, no, that can't be the answer. <laughs> right? And Russell's like, uh, no, you should really publish. No, that's probably not the thing. Let me go figure out more of this stuff. I want to distract myself with other skill sets, please. Okay, sweet. Let's come over here. You know what I'm talking about? We've all done it. Right? And uh, suddenly I started publishing and started finding my voice. All right? And suddenly I started taking these steps and like a little bit of light started showing up. Beep. It was tiny, but it was out there, <laughs> right? And this little thing piece by piece started coming across. And I was like, oh man, it's all about the funnel. Like, oh man, there's actually stuff before the funnel. Oh, that's interesting. Well, what are those things? And, wow, oh my gosh, it's actually before that as well. Well, I can't even find anything else before what we're gonna start with, okay? The funnel, easiest piece. How many are like, yeah, right. <laughs> Right? But what I want to teach you guys is the pattern and the process that when you actually go through it and simplified and simplified and simplified, the funnel and the offer, frankly enough, that's what I lead with, the easiest parts. Okay? They're super, it's probably the smallest section of this entire event, the funnel. It's Okay, there's all these other things in front, and we'll keep it very simple. But I want you to know how this event goes. Uh, last year when he did it, I was like, no breaks, let's just go, baby, woo! And then Myron was like, dude, you're gonna kill them, it's not the army. <laughs> I was like, all right, sounds good. So it's gonna be really fast. Uh, please take a lot of notes, and this actually goes in order. Okay, so everything's gonna build on itself as we move forward. Um, also, inside the event, there'll be these sections I call so what sections. I, I hate going to events, where I like walk away and I'm like, that was good. I don't remember a thing. That was awesome. What do I do now? 
waste of everybody's time. Waste of everybody's time. Waste of everybody's time. <laughs> right? Drives me nuts. So what we have is a so what section. And what you're going to do is actually take a moment to apply the things that we've been going through. Sound good? Yeah. I want you to walk away actually knowing how to design and launch a lucrative offer. Yee yee. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sweet.